stress out like it was shout through. You should stay in Cajay. That's good day, a bad day. But one day down the line, it's time to show to stop. So the only time is now for a club. I believe your mum's gone to work and left us to deal with your dodgy right, sink. Got a love a bit of you too. Uh, no, we don't. Oi! Oi. <laughs> Look, it's for a radio competition and you can win these speakers. The only catch is you've got to listen all day until they play Will Young. At last, the plumber. Someone who knows what he's doing. Exterminate. 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 Ash, work experience, isn't it, Mrs. J? I'm oh, with me, Uncle Kev. You just parking up. Uh, sink, is it? Friends and family discount. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> <I'm>... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, you see, there's your main problem right there. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, Josh, what are you doing for work experience? I'm not doing anything, Nero. I want to be a rapper. What's working as a skivvy in some shop going to do for me? Uh, apart from giving you valuable experience of life in the real world? <laughs> and cash. You are joking, right? It's work experience. You're doing it for nothing. You what? <laughs> I've just spent the last half hour with my hand up some old scuffers monkey pipes. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the human snail. <laughs> Personal best. Yeah, mate, you normally don't make a div out of yourself to your inside. Huh? Huh. But who will be the div when I've got my athletic activity badge? I think you will. <laughs> but my badge says it's lunch time with Mr. Nunn. Nunn Chuck. He's your tester. We sperm, but fair. Oi! Out of the way, sexy! You've all been unable to find your work experience placement. All my actual days. You better not say I didn't try because I actually flipping welded. Don't you already have a job? Yeah, damn Auntie Val Salon. But she says working Saturday one is enough for anyone. So when everywhere asked about working on those makeup counter things is one of those thingies. Beautician. Yeah, I know. And they were all like, no, no, stop shouting, security, security. Maybe you shouldn't have applied in person. Are you saying I'm ugly? Look, we understand it can be very difficult to find a placement. Feet. Which is why we've decided to offer you work experience here at the school. Listen, sir, uh, you know, it doesn't make sense us working at this school. It's really not going to work. You know, we're proper menace. I see your point, Carter. But Mrs O'Brien thinks that she knows better. And who are we to argue? Your previous school may have dealt with this situation differently. Chewing. However, I personally do not think that pupils benefit from lazing around. Well, I think it's a good idea. Well done, miss. Josh, you'll be joining Mr. Harris. Fine. Ashley Isaac, you'll be with Mr. Nunn. And Zoe Marie and Agnes, you will be assisting Mrs. Johnson in the school office. Uh-uh, I ain't doing it. I'm taking you to the European Court of Beatricians. Well, until they get back to you, the office. I do enjoy your little schemes, Mrs. O'Brien. I think you're being very brave. I'm simply doing my job. It's ridiculous to have them just sitting around, lazing, doing nothing. <laughs> What is this? Yes. Why are you not in lessons? I don't have any. Year 10 are um, work experience. Year 11 are on study leave. Year 9 are notoriously sky beep. Woohoo! Want some ice cream? And you knew about this frivolity? Well, I know that the staff benefit from a little relaxation at this time of year. I see. Well, I do not think that the staff benefit from sitting around, lazing, doing nothing, playing. I'm going to be changing the timetable immediately. Thank you. All right, let's all down. You three over there, you two join that group. And one, two, three, in that corner. Go. OK, today we're joined by our brand new classroom assistant, Mr. Carter, who I'm sure is very excited to be getting his first taste of the joys of teaching. 
even if he doesn't show it. Fascinating stuff today. We're going to be trying a composition exercise. The theme is my life. So, in your groups, start thinking about one verse and one chorus. Okay? Josh, can you... Josh! 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 I want you to work with those three. I know it's a lot of pressure, but see what you can do. Mr. Harris, when you say my life, is it your life or is it my life? What? Your life? See, I told you. My life. Not my life. Hi, Josh. Hey, guys. Um, I really need to listen to this, so you don't hassle me, and I'll let you get along. Yeah. Cool. Bless you lot. Ladies, can I interest you in a thumb war? One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war. I told you working for numpty number wouldn't be so bad. I mean, it's PE teachers. They don't do nothing, do they? Right. Come at me. Hit me with your best shot. I will not feel it because I am Padman. What's that on your head? I don't know. Little helmet? Right, idiots. Oh. You want some work experience, do you? Not really, sir. Oh, really? In which case, tough. I'm going to give it to you in all its tedious, unrewarding, menial glory. Come here. Get a line painting machine off the caretaker. I want this marked out on that field by lunchtime. Or else. Bog roll, eggs, lotion. No. A running track. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So, uh, alphabetise, shred, copy, post. And fill with tea, regularly. Tea? That's well out of order. Oh, so you're allowed to do shuffling in school time. That's nice. And Mr Bell! I need you to revise the timetable. I don't want to see a single teacher with a free period. Whatever you have to do, split classes, extra tuition, let's get on to be really working. Right, uh, so that's a whole new time Wow, time. that's well going to put a dink in your shoe shopping. <laughs> By the end of the day, please. OK, five minutes, everyone. Uh, should we do something? Yeah. Um, Josh, could you... Um... Yes! Well done. Get him. Hey, man, you can call me Jay Hyphen. No way. Isaac! Mate! It's Josh! He's on the radio! So, where are your teachers, Mr. Hyphen? Oh, some rubbish community school called Elmsmere Manor, or Falbury as we call it. Tough gig then. Yeah. Poor nutrition, bad behaviour, low IQ, and that's just the teachers. He's going to get fried for this. Chill. Who is going to know? I mean, it's not as if Ding Dong listens to Elmsbury FM, is it? Tomorrow, who wrote and performed the track Hold Me, Thrill Me, Kiss Me, Kill Me from the Batman Forever movie? Was it A... You two. ...is the right answer you're through to the final? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Mum. Uh, yeah, I will do. Just, uh, just make sure you don't call me at school again. Josh, he's proper famous. Well, oh, that's your spanner. Look what you've done. You've ruined it. Chill out, Picasso. We'll just start the bend here. No one will never notice. This is stressing me out big time. So, you three, show us what you've got. Um, nothing really. I've got this bruise in my thumb. <laughs> <laughs> You lot of rubbish. No, it's not. Well, it's not like it's my fault. Uh, yeah, yes. yes, you left. Oh, really? Well, you can all have detention for disrespecting a teacher. Oh, can he give us detention? No, he's not even a real teacher. Yes, of course I can. I'm in charge of a week, innit? <laughs> Go on, clear off. I, um, I can give them detention, yeah? Sure, of course. But you'll have to supervise them, so you just gave yourself detention too. Oh, unlucky. Mr Greenwood takes geography on Wednesdays and Miss Portwood will cover French. All done. You've got Mr Greenwood on twice. Uh, uh, uh. 
I'll give geography to Mrs. Jones. Oh, no, but... Um... Give it to Mr. Jarvis. He well deserves geography of his stupid fish face. Uh, freeze! Step away from the board. Ooh. All done. Right. I'm going to lunch. Don't touch anything. Like I want to touch her monkey board. <laughs> Made it. Didn't take as long as I thought, though. Yeah? That's because it's 30 metres short, you've been lid. Trust me, Isaac. None will never notice. Why would I trust you? You're an idiot. Of course he's going to notice. Oh, you two! What'd you call this? I could draw a better bend than that. would be eyes shut. No? Right, get off. Clear the track. You lot, get in your lanes. We'll do a quick 400 metres. On your marks. Get set. Come on! Put your back into it! You said you'd test me for my athletics badge, sir. Oh, did I? Right, Rogers, Newman. Whilst I'm dealing with the actual athletes, you can deal with this. Now get off the track, you'll get run over. Come on! Go for it! So if Mr. Nunn goes here, and year eight do history all morning. <laughs> Hiya. Nice lunch. Yes. Yes, well done, Zivanovich. Think yourself lucky, lads. You're learning from the best. Every one of my lads has just beaten their personal best. We should tell them that the track's sharp. That'll take the grin off his smug face. Shame about your wet rag of a specimen. I'll tell you what, you're going to have to go some if you want to get that waste of equipment up to the standard of my lot. I'm not going to have him mock our boy like that. Well done, my son. You've got your badge. Nice yes. one. Yes, Owen. <laughs> but this isn't right. Discus, 87 metres. Javelin, a really long way. And we haven't even got a pole vault. We won't tell him if you don't. Well done. No. Scout law number one. A scout is to be trusted. What are you doing? Don't you want your badge? I have to earn it. Properly. Well, that ain't gonna happen, is it? Have you seen yourself? You're well rubbish. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Have you seen that? Hi, miss. Um, what should I do with these registers? Oh, come here. Josh, you don't need to knock anymore. You're a member of staff now. Yeah? Mm. Nice one, Ems. Uh... Hi. Hi. Oh, this is way better than sitting outside in the rain at break time. Mm. Hey, uh, make it a white one with two sugars, please. Thank you. Ah, oh, well, what a day. Mm. Hey, is it me or a 9C just... Oh, the spawn of the living dead. I don't know how you guys do it. <laughs> I mean, take this morning, for example, mm. three of mine. It's music. You can do whatever you like with whatever you like. And they just came up with nothing. <laughs> Whose fault is that, then, eh? <laughs> Look, Dexter, it's not my fault if they act like they're not bothered. If they're not bothered, then it's your job to make them bothered. But instead, you gave them the attention for not making an effort. What effort have you made? Looks like you'll be making your own coffee then. What? It's not like it's my fault. Of course kids are bored. This is high school. Some kids love lessons, but more of them are mainly experiencing boredom. Only looking forward to one thing, mate. 4 p.m. when they can get away. And I should know I'm the king of these kids. In science, I sit trying to open my eyelids. Of course I never like this. Look what I put up with. Rubbish teachers. No wonder I'm disruptive. And these kids are gonna need some settling. Why is it up to me to try and stop them from wrestling? Please. There's nothing I can do about this. There's nothing I can do about this. Why should I care? I'm one of these kids. Nope. There's nothing I can do about this. But then again, this is music. And I've always worked hard to produce it. So if I really wanna be a rap star, really, really wanna try and take it that far. 
I should be able to make it exciting to teach music, singing or songwriting. Honestly, if I can't do that, how could I ever professionally do rap? No, I have to do something about this. I have to do something about this. I have to care because I'm one of these kids. Yep, I have to do something about this. Just have normal detention. Right. My name is Mr. Carter, and this is where I have my detentions. But we didn't do nothing. No, you didn't, and neither did I. But I'm sure together we can do a lot better. A what? Oh, we're going to do that composition thing again. Come on. What? So we can fail again? What's the point? We can't play anything. You don't need to, and you're not going to fail. Forget it. You're wasting your time. Time, 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 time. Whoa! <laughs> it's your voice. No, it ain't. Don't sound anything like me. 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 Say it. 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 Say No, now it's your turn. Tell you what, say your name five times in a row. Flirt, 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 flirt. Alicia, 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 Alicia. You like, you like, you like, you like. Come on. Cheer up. No, I just wasted six weeks of training. I simply cannot collect a badge if the test wasn't done under appropriate conditions. OK, look. What if we test you again? Properly? Could you get your badge then? <laughs> no chance. You'll just laugh at me some more. <laughs> no, we won't. Seriously. Although, if you drop a short part on your foot again, I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just give up. But it doesn't seem very scoutly. Will that chat about doing your best? Fine. I'll see you on the field at lunchtime. Look, I have just taken a call from a parent who says that she heard an Elmsmere teacher on a radio quiz show during school hours. You know this new timetable? Any repeat of this behaviour will be dealt with in the strictest possible manner. No, nope, it still doesn't make any sense. I'll just see Mrs Johnson. Mm. Hey, Dex. A little munchkins. I've been working with them, and in today's lesson, we'd like to show you the composition thing again. Really? Josh, I'm impressed. You might make a teacher yet. Mm, don't say that. Now I've got to go home and take a shower. <laughs> Dex, have you seen this? She's got me down for French. I can't even speak French. I went there last year on a school trip and I had to ask the kids to get my wine for me. Mrs Johnson, could you explain why the caretaker is currently trying to teach ancient Greek? Why there are year eights making meringues on the squash court? Well, Mr Bell asked me to make some changes to the timetable. Ah, I see. But I did not write that. We may have changed the timetable a little bit. But only because shopping tops over here got it wrong in the first place. He was helping. I see. So what you're saying, Mrs Johnson, is that this wheeze by Mrs O'Brien to give the children work experience in the school has completely ruined my new efficiency timetable. You two, on your way. Put out! I don't even want to do this stupid job anyway. I don't even know why I've been trying to ever work out. Mm. I'm, I'm sorry your placement didn't work out, but you mustn't be downhearted. Mr. Bell said we're not good at anything. Maybe he's right. Well, that's very rarely the case. And anyway, you can't let one knockback put you off the world of work. You must persevere. Percy who? Keep trying. I mean, take your ambition to be a beautician. <clears throat> you won't give up on that, will you? I've already tried at loads of places, like at least two, and they all said no. Well, then you'll just have to try again. Ask somewhere else. OK, can I meet you up, miss? Um, wicked fan. Right. Because <laughs> if it means that much to you, I promise I'll make it look nice for a change. Thanks. Don't get too excited, though. I mean, I am good, but I'm no miracle worker. It's a shame you can't do your radio show. Good morning, Mr. Carter. Still, at least you tried. What are you guys talking about? Of course I'm still doing it. I just got to play it smart and make sure Ding Dong don't catch me. Them. Today's the final of the big music quiz, and we have our finalist, Jay Hyphen, on the line, live from Ellesmere.
in a school where he's a teacher. So, tell me, Jay, how did you get to be such a music expert? Oh, um, well, ask him if you can do a shout out for me, Nan. Nan, eh? My brother, I suppose. Um, yeah, he's just always really been into music, so I guess he took the time to really get me into it, too. Nice. Just time to play one more track, and then we'll be back with the big music quiz. Whew. All right. Just enough time for me to go take a quick waz. Hold this, yeah? And no talking about your nana. Okay. George, Miss Harris sent us to find you. Okay, well, um, tell him I'll see him later on after our lesson, yeah? Right. Yeah, that's it. There's been a mix-up with the timetables and our music lesson is now. What? But I... We need you. <sighs> Look, not now, girls, okay? I'm in the middle of something important. Right. Really important. Not like us then. Unleash. I ain't lying to them. No speakers are genuinely important. They ain't just some luxury. So why is it I'm feeling really awkward? My brother, I guess he really loved music. Something that I said to that DJ that's making me feel kind of stupid. About Nathan and music and what he used to do He took the time out to get me into it too Ah, oh, nah, that's like the darkest I'm denying them the thing that got me started Bit of encouragement, genuine interest, passion Having someone I rated that I could impress That was Nathan, my very own brother A pair to share a music education with each other and without that, I wonder where I'd be Cause him and my music were all that ever spoke to me I probably would have skipped school, maybe even dropped out I'd be hanging about the chicken shop now Living like a loser, chewing on one piece Laughing at texts that I should send through on monkeys Cause unless I'm really very, very wrong on this It was a role model who gave me all the confidence That I have today to go and try to grab my dreams Hate to say it, what if Nathan had abandoned me? A little angry would be an understatement Carter Jr. do the right thing Yo, wait up Hello? Hello? Jay Hyphen, you still there? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still here, uh, what's up? Josh Carter! I should have known, live and red-handed on the radio. Could you buy Boogie Wonderland? Yeah, it's, it's very nice. Um, you really need to answer the question first. Play something for your nan later, but first, if you want those speakers, Jay, on. Oh, excuse me. Josh ain't coming. He's got something my partner to do. Say what? I mean, what could possibly be more important than me spending a bit of time with my munchkins, eh? Yeah. Exhausted. It's hopeless. I'm hopeless. You can't get your badge without it. Owen, listen to me very carefully. Deb, deb, deb. Dob, dob, dob. We don't actually say that, but thanks. That's it, lads. Get that off the track. 
Wait, we've got 1,500 left. Seven minutes max, that's all we need. You reckon that can do three and three quarter laps in under seven minutes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I reckon he can. You what? You've been a PE teacher for ten minutes and you reckon you know more than me? Yeah. Whatever. All right. Loser has to push a shot butt around this track with their nose. <laughs> All right, you're on, Newman. I'm going to enjoy this. Come on, my son. Good luck. Right, on your marks, get set. <whistles> Come, Come on, on, Owen! Let's do it! Woo! Right, you lot, get over to the high jump. Go, you ain't going to have the walls left. Track's 30 metres short, remember? It's an easy win. Come on, Owen. You reckon? Go. Go on, lad. You've got your badge. Don't worry, sir. Might not take you as long as you think. On your marks. This is O'Brien. About this timetable. Uh, not too much, is it, sir? No. If anything, I'd say it's not enough. Right. Oh, you're looking at me. I couldn't tell what we need. some credit, man. He's even got those two running up. Can't live with them. And you can't kick them out. When they're up, they rub it in your face. Kick you when you're down. But when no one understands them, you know what they're on about. Always gonna be around. Gotta find a common ground. If you know so much about me. 